Hey everyone, welcome. So I realize it's been a bit slow on the video side of things at the moment. I'm kind of between working on a large painting and some other projects as well as teaching a portrait drawing class, which by the way, if you're in the area, you can attend to every Tuesday night. Uh, message me for more info. But I thought while Av and Aura are both asleep right now, I might just play around with a little Alla Prima painting of the both of them. Uh, from a photo reference from when we were out on the picnic the other day. So, in starting this painting, I've got a few things on my mind. Uh, the first and, and major being the book I'm currently reading. It's uh, Richard Schmidt's Alla Prima Volume 2. It's a book where he details his painting philosophies, as well as his methods. Really interesting read so far, quite different to how I've read and seen uh, other artists paint. Uh, I know Richard from an artist, Casey Barr, uh, who earlier in his life was a pupil of Richard. Um, in Casey's painting instructional videos, he makes reference to Richard's uh, teachings a bit, and I find it interesting, his approach to painting. He paints in this sort of direct way, mostly, if not all, a la prima. And for those listening, if you don't know what a la prima is, it just, it, all it means is that it's uh, wet into wet, so you're not painting in layers, you're just painting wet into wet paint. Um, he talks about seeing everything as a whole and, and, and using very thin paint to, uh, uh, to medium mix to sort of wash your painting on and then slowly build up upon that and uh, applying thicker paint to areas you want to express and give emphasis to. Uh, having tried painting this way for a short while now, uh, I find it's, it's, it's quite refreshing and more fluid way to paint. It, it allows me to move effortlessly between painting and palette. Uh, besides all that, it's just nice to be able to pull out my Pichard box and uh, paint wherever I happen to find myself. Um, and if you've watched my videos before, you probably know that this box I'm using right now is uh, made by Ben Haggard. He's, you can find his uh, paint boxes uh, on his website called Ala Prima Pichard. He makes all of these himself and by hand. Um, I just, at the moment, I, I honestly feel as though I'm, I'm coming up to the top of a small mountain in my journey as an artist right now. I feel right on the cusp of, of making some sort of a name for myself, whatever, whatever that means, or that I'm, that, that I'm about to make a, some sort of a masterpiece of work right around the corner. And all I have to do is just paint my way there or something, <laughs> you know? Uh, yeah, it's kind of just been on my mind lately. I feel like... Uh, I'm just right around the corner from something big happening and and I really do have quite a lot of things in the works that, I, that I'm working on and planning on that I hope that you'll all be able to enjoy and, and uh, see really really soon uh, I think it'd be really cool in the in the next coming month or so but whichever happens I'm just thankful for the ability to paint and my beautiful family so I know this video was pretty short but um, I hope you enjoyed it and I uh, hope you enjoyed watching the process of me create this painting. And uh, if you if you like this video, please hit like, subscribe, hit that bell button so you're notified every time I upload. And uh, more importantly, you can join my newsletter group right now on my website on the sign up section. Uh, this will give you access to my reference photos as well as a 24 hour early access to my videos here on YouTube. But uh, leave a comment down below and uh, let me know what you're working on right now. You know, it's really nice to just be able to pull up and, and paint wherever we happen to find ourselves and uh, just just enjoy the process and and the, the joy that is creating, that is painting. Until next time, guys. I'll see you later.